Gospel and Homily for the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, See that you are dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like men waiting for their master to return from the wedding feast, ready to open the door as soon as he comes and knocks. Happy those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. I tell you solemnly, he will put on an apron, sit them down at table and wait on them. It may be in the second watch he comes or in the third, but happy those servants if he finds them ready. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what hour the burglar would come, he would not have let anyone break through the wall of his house. You too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. The Gospel of the Lord. A young man was in the marketplace in Baghdad when he saw a woman casting threatening glances at him. He recognized her instantly as death and terrified he ran to his master begging him for a horse so that he could flee the city immediately. When asked the reason for his sudden departure he said, I've just seen death in the marketplace and she looked at me in a threatening manner. Please give me a horse so that I can get away as fast as I can to Samara. The master gave him the horse, wished him Godspeed, and the young man galloped like a crazed man to Samara, which was 20 miles away. Then his master went down to the marketplace. He went down to the marketplace as well, where he too saw death. He went up to her and asked her why she was casting threatening looks at his servant. I wasn't threatening him, Death replied. I was surprised to see him in Baghdad because tonight I have an appointment with him in Samara. One of the morning hymns in the prayer of the church goes like this. My destined time... My destined time is fixed by thee, and death doth know his hour. Did warrior strong around me throng, they could not stay his power. No walls of stone can man defend when thou thy messenger dost send. Now one of the more persistent themes in the gospel is that of being alert, being ready to meet the master when he comes. <clears throat> The foolish person in gospel terms is not the one who is intellectually challenged, but the person who lives his life in this world without any reference to the next. As it says in one of the Psalms, the fool says in his heart there is no God above. The man in last Sunday's gospel was called a fool because he indulged his body, which is corruptible, at the expense of his soul, which is immortal. And when the Lord called to judgment, called him to judgment, he was taken by surprise. And in the story of the ten bridesmaids, five of them were foolish because when the bridegroom arrived unexpectedly at midnight, they weren't ready to meet him. The old catechism states, it is appointed unto man once to die and after death comes judgment. Since we only get one shot at life, Getting it right is not an option. They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Some of the saints have said that one of the more subtle temptations of the evil one is to deceive us into thinking that we have plenty time. One of the, in one of the same Psalms it says, Lord, show us the shortness of our life that we may gain wisdom of heart. However, the saints themselves did not fall for that trick. When St. Teresa was on her deathbed, she said that she longed for death so she could be forever united with the heavenly bridegroom. And towards the end of his life, St. John the Twenty-Third was heard saying to his secretary, my bags are packed and I'm ready to go. 
The saintly King Edward the Confessor, seeing his friends grieving at his approaching death, says, Do not cry. I am about to leave the land of the dying and go to the land of the living. If these sentiments make sense to us, we are unlikely to be caught unawares when the Master arrives unexpectedly or not. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all.